Welcome to What's Happening. 2020's been a rough year, but at least we have something to look forward to. Apart from the new Xbox Series X, Halo Infinite is also set to be released in late 2020 as a launch title for the new gen console. Marking the Master Chief's return. With a promising 8 minutes long official trailer, Halo Infinite might be the one redeeming factor for 2020. The trailer offers us a lot of insights on how the game would be, including the plot and gameplay. Being 343 Industries' third mainline Halo game after Halo 4 and 5, the new Halo Infinite serves as a spiritual reboot for the classic Microsoft franchise. Like many other new things, in Halo Infinite, something changes and something stays. Here's what we know so far. But you know what doesn't change though? A good old like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself in the loop of what's happening. And don't forget the bell icon to keep yourself updated. Halo is the first game I ever played on Xbox, but the thing that will just always stick with me, and, and I believe this at my core, is that Xbox wouldn't exist today if it wasn't for the Halo franchise. Release date. Perhaps the first thing you'd like to know is when it's coming out. Yes, 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 we're all excited to see Master Chief on the new gen console, and the good news is that it won't be long. Halo Infinite is set to release in late 2020, specifically holiday 2020, so probably between October and December. Better get your Christmas savings ready. Five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The Brute. <laughs> Their leader. His name is Atriox. Main Antagonists Halo Infinite also marks the return of the Banished, previously seen in Halo Wars 2. And based on what we can see from the trailer, the Banished will be the main alien antagonists in Halo Infinite. A splinter group of ex-Covenant warriors, the Banished is now led by Brute Warchief Eskarim, after they declared victory over the UNSC forces and took over a Halo ring. After the defeat of the Covenant in Halo 4, the Banished managed to seize the power vacuum and establish themselves as a formidable force in the galaxy, building a mercenary empire and destroying whatever comes in its path. Gameplay this is where Halo Infinite truly sticks to its roots. So far from the 8-minute trailer, we noticed a lot of familiar weapons and environments, with a traditionally-looking Halo game in action. Loyal fans of the franchise shouldn't need to spend time getting used to any new controls and interfaces. However, something stays and something changes, and Halo Infinite offers a more open-world gaming experience we can all look forward to. One of the most promising aspects is perhaps the ability to explore different parts of the extra-sized Halo ring several times larger than the last two Halo games combined. One minor thing that we noticed in the trailer is the upgrade section within the menu. While we didn't see that in action, it indicates possible RPG-oriented updates for Master Chief. Let's all keep an eye out and see what it does. But there's one thing that really caught our attention. Grappling hook. You know what we're talking about. If you watched the trailer, you'd have noticed the implementation of a grappling hook, allowing Master Chief to pull himself towards enemies and objects, offering a brand new combat experience future developments. 343 Industries, the studio behind Halo Infinite, also seems to have a special plan for the latest Halo game. Instead of being a standalone title, the studio is planning to use Halo Infinite as the foundation for the new Halo games that follow. Yeah, Microsoft wants their own Destiny 2. So, imagine a new branch of Halo plot and gameplay development, and Halo Infinite would be the granddaddy of the new line of future Halo games. Honestly, this alone would be a good enough reason to lay your hands on Halo Infinite once it's released. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Multiplayer. Now, multiplayer. This is the part that gets slightly disappointing. Disappointed! Not that there's none, but at the moment, the showcase only focused on the campaign itself, with no information on the multiplayer mode. We believe that it'll come with a multiplayer mode, as promised by 343 Industries, but nothing much is known at the moment. Rumors have it that the beloved split-screen co-op will make a return in Halo Infinite, but nothing is solid for now. However, they did promise that news on multiplayer will soon come along the way, so let's keep an eye out. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Recap. Are you excited about the new Halo Infinite? We surely are. We are hyped if you ask us. 
While there's still a lot to learn about the new Halo Infinite, so far the game has been extremely promising based on what we can see. From the new grappling hook to the vast maps available, Halo seems to be moving towards a generation, just like the new Xbox itself. What's more is that the game will also be available on Xbox Game Pass from day one if you don't want to spend $60 upon its release. And when you're done with this war, we get away from here. Far away. What do you think of the game? What are the things you're looking forward to the most? What do you think of the co-op split screen? Let us know in the comments section below. And, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool content to keep yourself in the loop for what's happening. It all means nothing. Until you step inside.